Two trims in the new 2025 Ford Explorer. And to my left, I have the lowest of four trims being the active trim. And we add a comfort active package to this. And I'm gonna explain that in this video. Comparing it over to the 2025 Ford Explorer in the next trim up of the Ford, the ST line, which is a bit more sporty and without any more packages. But guys, these are the refreshed new look on the 2025 Ford Explorer. Let's go ahead and bring the comparison over between trims. If you guys want more of an in-depth single review video, check out our channel at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu and see just a single review in-depth review video, okay? Now let's dive in and talk powertrain. So we only popped one hood is because it has the same exact powertrain, 2.3 liter, four cylinder EcoBoost engine paired together with a 10 speed automatic transmission, pushing 300 horsepower and 310 pounds feet of torque. The only other trim that gets this powertrain is the platinum trim. The top trim, the ST trim will come with the 3.0 liter, six cylinder, okay? Now let's go ahead and shut this hood and start talking differences between the lowest trim active and the trim up ST line being a bit more sporty. Now, I don't want you guys to confuse ST line with the top trim ST, two different trims, okay? Now, the active trim itself takes the place of the 2024 XLT trim. What is different between this one and this one? Let's go ahead and dive in. First, the grill, the design on the grill and the color scheme, completely different, along with no bumper sensors going across and no 360 camera system right under that Ford emblem, okay? Also, I did mention it does have an active comfort package, and because it has the active comfort package add-on to the active trim, you're getting the signature lighting with an LED fog light, but the standard active will have different lights, okay? Coming over to the ST line, high gloss black grille, different design, a bit more sporty for that ST emblem. And now the 360 camera right under the Ford, the bumper sensors going across here and here, along with that finished trim in the high gloss black that we get as well. So everything blacked out on this, that is pretty much the only difference is the design on the grill, the color schemes, 360 camera, and the bumper sensors. Now over to the side, what's different? Dropping over to the wheel area. This is an added optional equipment on the active. Take into consideration between trims, people add on different options. You will see different rims, okay? Michelin Primacy All Season Tire coming in at a 255, 55, 20, and this is a nickel color rim, all right? Suspension system is standard shock spring suspension. What is different or the same here? The rim, ST line rim, machine surface silver, high gloss black on the interior, Michelin Primacy All Season Tire, and the size is a 255, 55, 20. So tire is exactly the same. Rim is different, suspension is the same with the standard shock spring strut suspension. What's different now? Side mirrors. High gloss black because of the ST line, it has more of a, a higher class mirror with the integrated blinker lighting, okay? And the 360 camera here, all right? On the active lower trim, just a complete matte black plastic trim look and no integrated blinker lighting, but it does have a proximity light under here as well as under here. So when you're coming close to the car, those lights will add a, light, um, light up. ST line emblem here on the fender, but here on the active, you don't get that. Where you're gonna see the active emblem is on the back tailgate. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. Nothing much different here on the doors, the cuts or anything is all the same. Only different is that lower trim with the high gloss black on the ST line and the chrome on the active, okay? Key system. Because of the uh, active comfort package on the active, you're getting an engine key fob start option. We're here on the ST line, that's standard. Let's go over, roof rails, both the same. Now coming over to the rear. What is different with regards to the rear? Lower trim being the active, what do we see? We see the lower diffuser is different in that kind of darker nickel gray look with the different cutouts is different. And the active emblem here letting you know that that's the active trim. But if we come over to the ST line, again, blacked out Explorer, blacked out uh, uh, diffuser with different cuts, a bit more sporty because of that ST again. And no, we got the four wheel drive, but we have no ST line emblem, 
All right, that is pretty much exactly what's different with regards to the exterior of the Active Trim NST. But the diff the same with regards to the tail lights because of that um, Comfort Active package is LED tail lights, LED tail lights, and these is the new design of the tail lights. Really cool design coming in from 2024, and you have a little bit more boxy squared off tailgate because of that 2025 facelift design okay i wanted to add that in there as well let's go ahead and pop open the tailgates now being the basic package here on the active we have seven rows or seven passengers three row suv we have 16 cubic feet of cargo area behind the third row behind the second row if we go ahead and drop this we have 46 cubic feet of space and if we drop all seats is going to give you 86 cubic feet of space what is different back here you might ask pretty much nothing other than a 12 a subwoofer for the bang and olufsen premium sound system upgrade on the st line but both do come with spare tires and that's right under this mat here so i show you guys because a lot of people ask me you get cargo here all right on the right and on the left of that center mat an led lighting and a 12 volt outlet here on the right, okay? Now let's go ahead and shoot over to the ST line. ST line, same exact with regards to the cargo, but what's different you can see from back here is those captain chairs, okay? So instead of a seven passenger, we have a six passenger ST line, all right? So now you can see the option from the bench seat over to the captain chairs from the back, but that is what's different, that subwoofer for that Bang & Olufsen premium sound system upgrade. But other than that, not much difference. Now. Closing these tailgates, I have to say, guys, I'd like to give a shout out to Folsom Lake Ford here in Folsom, California for providing us these beautiful vehicles for the walk around comparison for our viewers. We appreciate you, Folsom Lake Ford. Now let's go ahead and show you guys differences on the interior. So now let's talk interior differences of the active trim with the equipment option 200A and the add-on Comfort Active Package. Now, I have to say, guys, if you guys do not have the Comfort Active Package on top of your active trim, you're going to be losing three things. Electrical eight-way passenger seat, okay? You're going to be missing the garage door opener and then the heated steering wheel that you're going to see right here on that touch-sensitive button. That's your heated steering. That's because of the Comfort Active Package on top of the Active Trim. But let's now talk differences between just the Active Trim and the ST line. Starting with the door sill plate, we got different door sills, okay? On the ST line, you're gonna have a brushed aluminum look with ST line on the door sill plate where here it says Explorer. You're gonna come up to the dashboard, you're gonna have the Bang & Olufsen badge here on the canvas part of the dashboard. Then we're going to drop down and talk about the color schemes. The textured inlays are going to be a bit darker here on the bottom of this uh, dashboard area. And you're going to see that going across the doors and um, dashboard. Also, the seating surfaces, okay? We're going to have the, this is a, a gray uh, ActiveX interior seating system where you're gonna see the ST line, complete different interior on the seats, okay? Different. Coming over to the camera. Because of the 360 camera system, here on the active, we don't have the bird's eye view and the different angles with regards to the 360 camera. Another thing that we're missing, if we go over to our uh, apps, we're missing an file icon, okay? You're gonna see that the uh, ST line will have an extra app and it's gonna be files. And that is for your uh, specific downloads and music and whatnot that you wanna save, okay? Then we come over to the Copilot 360 assist system in the Ford. We don't have it here in the active, but the ST line has it. And the perforation on the steering wheel is going to be different as well. Okay, that's for just the front side. But get a load of the new Explorer look, everyone. We got a lot of difference from the 2024 over to the 2025 here. That is gonna be completely different. I just want you guys to keep an eye out for that if you're looking for the newer model, okay? 13.2 inch infotainment screen, 12.3 inch driver cockpit cluster display screen. We got a lot of difference here. And then the center console is pretty similar to the 2024. Now let's go ahead and talk difference between active and ST line on the second and third row seating. 
So now the second row seating in the active trim and what's different, if you go ahead and take a look at the door, again, the color schemes on the inlays, you got a darker gray top inlay, as well as now a bench seat. All right, so we have a 40 percenter, a 20 percenter, and a 40 percenter to where the ST line has the captain seats. And that bench seat brings an armrest with the cup holders, okay? So if you don't have a middle passenger you actually have two extra cup holders back here mm -hmm. as well as the seat surfaces are going to be completely different and i'm going to show you guys that why as well but now guys let's go ahead and show you guys real quick overall what it looks like on the second row the 12 volt outlets here we got two USB-C plugins in your tri-zone climate control it's got manual controls with explorer engraved going across that plastic inlay up top, another thing that I want to mention that is different is a white versus black top liner. All right. In the active, we got the white. In the ST, we have the blacked out liner, and that is something that is different too. I'm about six feet two inches to put things into perspective for you guys. Leg room is completely there, head clearance is completely there on the second row. Let's go ahead and pop the seat, bunny hop the seat from here forward and take a look at the third row passenger seating area. Now, nothing is different back here with regards to the trims. You still have your USB-C plugins in both, cup holders on the right and the left with your two passenger seating system. And I have to say that is a pretty convenient area. It doesn't feel too claustrophobic when you're back here. For six feet, two inches, I have, I have to um, tell you guys, leg room is pretty good there and the head clearance is pretty good my hair slightly touches the top of the liner but now that we're pretty much done this car is coming in around forty eight thousand nine hundred dollars let's go ahead and show you guys what almost eight hundred dollars less gets you in the st line but with a higher trim what in the world let's go ahead and show you guys now sitting in the ST line, everyone, with the Equipment 300A package. And remember I mentioned to you guys that you have the Active Comfort uh, add-ons to the Active Trim. The, this ST line 300A Equipment package comes standard with the power adjustable eight-way electric controlled passenger seat, along with that garage door opener and the heated steering wheel that I mentioned, okay? So those are the three that come standard. You don't have to add an extra more expensive package. But now what's different from ST line over to the active? Remember I told you guys about that door sill play, ST line, door sill, coming up, banging Olufsen premium sound system. You get the badging there on the right and on the left of that dashboard. Then we come over to the color scheme of that lower inlay. It's a darker gray, but same texture feel. And then the Onyx ActiveX seating interior systems, kind of a cloth, uh, hard canvas feel with slash kind of the leather or pleather, whatever you want to call it. But that's completely different. Then we come over to the camera system. 360 camera with the bird's eye view. You can change that angle as well, just to take that into consideration. We go ahead and click out of that. We come back up to the apps. Remember I told you guys the files icon. Files and you get images, audio, videos, documents, large files and so forth. In the downloads, you can save those over here to download. Very cool option to have. Then we come over here to the Blue Cruise. I did say it's the 360 or whatnot, or whatever it was with the Ford Co-Pilot Assist, but this is the Blue Cruise. Sorry for the mistake, okay? You get that, that's different, and the perforation and the steering wheel, all right? And the steering wheel does slightly look a little bit more flat bottom steering in the ST line. I wanted to point that out to you guys as well. It, it's almost kind of in between of ST or not. And then up top, Remember, I told you guys the black liner versus that kind of white or off-white liner. But what do you guys think? And I did make another mistake, I know, because I'm not perfect. I'm near perfect, but I'm not perfect. Uh, this is actually $200, $250 cheaper. So I said it was uh, $48,000 and like it's like $800 cheaper than the $48,900. This is it coming in at $48,600, okay? Take that into consideration. Now let's go ahead and show you guys the second row captain seating and finish off with this video. So differences real quick, captain seats with the armrest, no 20 percenter in the center, so you have an aisle way along with the seating wrap. All right, same look coming in from the front over to the back. 
and the inlays on the door are still darker gray than the active okay come over to the center still pretty much the same exact center with the manual uh, tri-zone climate controls uh, USB-C plugins, 12 volt outlet. And I wanted to mention down that you got the two extra cup holders in both. Okay. So this is all similar. The two extra cup holders I just didn't show you guys in the last one. And that is, uh, well, you don't have the two extra cup holders here. You do have two down there. I don't want you guys to uh, confuse yourselves and say you guys don't get cup holders. You also get them on the door panels of the 2025 here, an extra door, uh, cup holder on each side. Now let's go ahead and show you guys a real quick space test for the third row and kind of showing you guys what I meant. See, for a six foot two inch guy, it's pretty clear back here. Not that claustrophobic for two passengers, okay? More than enough room, I feel like, for us tall people. You got the back glass, you're kind of intact with the outside world. You got your back fence for the animals or the extra passengers, unless your passengers are animals. I don't know. Not getting into that. Don't want to get in trouble. But again, everyone, thank you so much for watching our channel. Hopefully, we did a good job between these comparisons. Let us know in the comment section below how we did. We like to dialogue with our viewers. If you do want to check, uh, more in-depth single review videos check out our channel at vagabond builds with regards to these trims on these 2025 ford explorers and now i like to drop those msrp stickers first to the active trim so here's the msrp sticker and get an idea of what it looks like and what we talked about and secondly is the st line trim msrp sticker here it goes so you guys have that as well keep watching stay tuned we have more cool things coming guys we appreciate you guys here at vagabond builds with james and sandu god bless you